Hi everybody, it's Jennifer from The Good Life and I am going to be showing you how to do a really cool um, Bucilla felt Christmas stocking. For this stocking, you will need some items. Um, I have a couple of items that I usually use. One are scissors. I have two kinds of scissors. These scissors I use for cutting the fabric, and I have these scissors for cutting the little details. You don't have to have two scissors, but I like to use both um, to give myself some versatility. Um, you'll also need some thread holders. Now, I usually get mine from the fabric store, and they, they look a little like this. They come in big packs. Um, I think it's like 20 or something, and you can get them really cheap. They usually are blank like that, but that's how you hold your thread. And you're gonna need some type of pin cushion for your pins. Now the pins, I have I have a couple kinds of pins. These I, I like because they've got the little um, heads on them. I like those kind of pins. And I also have these pins. They're straight pins that you can, you can get them at any craft store. I also like to have a pencil. I like to have uh, some type of tool to uh, stuff stuffing, and the stuffing that I get, it's it's required for these these stockings. It's called polyfiberfill. It's this fluffy stuff that you can put in you know cushions or pillows, but you could also use these for the stockings. And it actually requires that you buy some separately. So before you start the kit, make sure you have some on hand. You can get it at any craft store. I also like to have some tape and something to hold the stocking in. I usually get a two to three gallon bag. Um, these are great for um, putting all your stocking bits inside while you're still working on the stocking so you don't lose anything. Um, I've had problems with, when I first started, I had a problem with you know losing little tiny like beads or um, pieces of stocking and I found a solution, I bought a this is a two and a half gallon Ziploc bag. You can get them anywhere and they're really cheap and the stocking fits really well inside it. So I would suggest getting one of those for this project. Now I'm going to show you one that I've already done. I made this for my son and this is a train stocking. It's got his name up here. Happy holidays. And it came with a matching ornament which I thought was really cute and you see how well these fit inside the bag that way you know after Christmas is over you can just stick them in these bags and put them in storage and not have to worry about it. Each kit comes with a set of instructions and they look like this. Big big page of instructions. This is the front. It shows you the picture of what the stocking is supposed to look like and there's a bunch of um, numbers and symbols that you're going to be paying attention to step by step. And they have, um, they actually have step by step instructions here that we'll be going through together. So I'm really excited to do that with you. Um, real quick, I'm going to go over some of the instructions that are written and these are um, basic instructions to put your stocking together and we need to make sure that we are putting it together correctly. I, the first time I did this I didn't quite read all the instructions and for an amateur I definitely messed up in some spots. So I have learned uh, throughout my experience. I've made, this is my, let's see, seven, eight, nine, this is my eleventh stocking that I've done. So I know what I'm doing. So the instructions say um, all appliques are numbered, okay, so we're, they're obviously numbered from one to whatever. Numbers on each applique indicate pieces to be placed on that piece. So every, every number has its place and you can find it on the chart here. Position appliques as shown on the diagram chart over the broken guidelines on the design chart back pieces are indicated by numbers in boxes. So if you see, you can actually see right on the top, 
right here. It's boxed, so that means it goes behind. Sequins are indicated as symbols. There is a symbol chart for all the sequins. Only a few sequins are shown on the design chart. Continue to attach sequins on the same color to each applique unless otherwise indicated on the design chart. Embroidery stitches are indicated on the design chart. We suggest that you purchase poly, polyester fiber fill to stuff areas indicated as this fluffy stuff. Only stuff appliques enough to create a three-dimensional effect, unless otherwise noted. When attaching a new applique, only stitch the applique in the felt pieces directly under the new piece. Do not stitch through the stuffing to the bottom layers. Use matching floss unless otherwise indicated. Refer to design chart and color slash symbol guide for floss colors, stitch diagrams, strand amounts, sequined and or bead colors, and other kit contents. Now it's cool, this kit comes with stamped felts, cotton floss, color separated sequins and beads, two needles, and instructions as I was reading. So every kit that you get, and the kits that I got, I bought most of them on Amazon. They tend to be a little cheaper than going on to busilla.com, which is sometimes you kind of have to go there because they make they make these kits and sometimes they have better prices. But depending on the, the stocking you want to do, do a little shopping. Uh, I, re I recommend going to Amazon and finding a stocking that you like. In these kits, there are several things. One, you get this little tiny bag and it comes with sequins. Now see, these sequins are sorted by color. They also have beads that are sorted. So those are the beads. And this stocking doesn't have very many colors, so it's pretty, it's pretty easy compared to the ones that I've done that have a bunch of colors. And I chose to show you how to do this stocking in particular because it was so simple. The instructions are actually quite short and there's not very many colors to work with, so it's a pretty easy beginner stocking. Here's all the stamped felt that it comes with. And each felt piece has numbered appliques, so you know which one you're working with. Also, in your kit, there, there is a, a, a wad, for lack of a better word, of thread color. Now, I already sorted mine, to save time. So I take some of these and I sort the thread by the colors. And I actually take my pencil that I have here and I write down the color actually on there. So you can actually see the color. Um, that's black, obviously. So you can actually take your pencil and write the colors on here. Um, if you have a hard time figuring out the differences between like like white and ecru, you can always Google the color and, and do a light comparison. Down here there is a color chart and it tells you how what the colors are and how many strands of each color. So here's all the strands. And I did a little check mark to check that I did them. Um, that I that I sorted them and put them in the little thread thingies. So that's your little chart right here that you're gonna look at to sort your colors. So those are all the things that you need to start your felt kit. Um, I will be making another video to show you how to thread a needle. To, there are a couple of needles that this kit comes with um, and I'll show you those. And I will show you how to thread the needle and I'll show you how to knot it and uh, to demonstrate some stitches. Um, and some of these stitches are very simple, they take a little bit of practice, so um, I will be making another video for that, and I hope to see you guys next time.